There are many people upon the North American continent. With those people came their gods, or vice versa. Anyways, before I digress, I'll ask you this question. Who is Coyote? Coyote is a mythological character common to many of the people who are indigenous to the North American continent. He can be quite the trickster and is known most notably for his cunning. At other times, however, he can be the tutor of the peoples and possessor of great wisdom and knowledge. He can be found in a wide variety of tales, especially from the natives of the Southwest Americas. He shows up in creation myths as the villain, as a teacher or a fool who tricks himself with his own tricks. Coyote is generally a male character and is more or less an anthropomorphic coyote man who is usually characterized by his coyote-like features, such as fur, pointed ears, a tail, yellow eyes, and blunt claws. Depending on the tail, he may have more resemblance to a coyote or to a man. While coyotes have been revered for their intelligence and abilities, their opportunistic habits sometimes make them a nuisance. This is also reflected in the iconography of Coyote. Now, with the tales of Coyote being as prolific as they are, it wasn't difficult to find a story about him. A story where he's responsible for the structure of human life itself. In the beginning, there was no death. Everyone would stay alive until there were too many people for the lands that were available. The various chiefs decided to come together to have a council meeting on the issue. During the meeting, one man stood and suggested that it was a good idea that some people should die and be allowed to come back after a short time. As soon as that man sat down, Coyote stood up among the men and stated that people should die and not come back because there was not enough food and space for everyone to live forever. The men in the room objected to this, claiming that there would be no love left in the world if they were forced to part with their loved ones. Except for Coyote, all the men in the room thought that it was a good idea that people should die, go away for a while, and then come back. Coyote was not pleased. After everything was decided, the medicine men constructed a grass hut with an opening that faced towards the east. He told the chiefs that the people who died would come back to the grass hut and be brought back to life. All of the people were glad about this setup because they were all afraid of death. Eventually, just as the medicine men said, one day a whirlwind swept through the village and encircled that grass hut. When the whirlwind entered into the grass hut through the east, the medicine men began to sing a special song. Out of the whirlwind, a young handsome man who had been killed by a neighboring tribe was restored to life. Now, all of the people of the village who had been terrified of death were pleased to see the young man return. Coyote, however, had fallen even further into displeasure, especially because his words had not been heeded. When Coyote saw the young man restored to life, he immediately went to the grass hut. He took a seat next to the door to the hut and waited as the people sang songs for many days. Eventually, another whirlwind approached the grass hut. When Coyote heard the whirlwind approaching, he tightly shut the door to the hut so that the spirit in the whirlwind could not get into the grass hut. Thus, Coyote introduced people to the concept of dying and never coming back. From that time on, people grieved for their dead and were unhappy. Ever since Coyote closed the door to the grass hut, people have been forced to wander the earth forever, seeking and seeking for some place to be until they finally wander upon the road to the realm of spirit. Ever since that day, Coyote has always been fearful, continuing to have to look over his shoulder at the thought that someday he will have to atone for his actions. Although Coyote may not be around today, as he was apparently back then, we can still find remnants of his presence. Many of us spent our childhood watching him purchase the latest Acme product in his unending effort 
to capture the Roadrunner.